Hey, this is our complete six day guide to Bogota. We've put together the perfect itinerary for anyone wanting to see the best this city has to offer in just one week. Good morning. Good morning. I'm super stoked <laughs> my mom's here this morning. We picked her up last night at the airport. Everything went pretty well after you found all the bags. <laughs> this morning we had some breakfast, tofu scramble, and now we're gonna head out to one of the biggest attractions in Colombia, which is the Gold Museum. The Gold Museum is free to enter, has information in English, and everything I saw was discovered in South America. Such a special museum to Bogota showcasing the beautiful gold of the indigenous rulers. Not far from the Gold Museum is the restaurant Antigua Santa Fe, which has the proclaimed best ajiaco in the world. It's a chicken soup and Danny and our friend Rob really liked it. One of our favorite things to do as soon as we get to a city is check out the view. Monserrate is 2,000 feet above the city, but only a short funicular ride up. During Christmas, we were also able to see beautiful lights and fireworks below. Oh, I love this! Oh, it's beautiful! Sunset action. <laughs> what more could you ask for? Day two, around Bogota, <laughs> heading to the Catedral de Sal. It's about an hour and a half from Candelaria. So Brita gets to go in a cart. Yeah. So if you're religious, the Sal Cathedral north of Bogota is a very powerful place. I thought there would be a little bit more information on the mine, but I guess that's an extra tour. It's really interesting that the miners made crosses into different parts of the rock. Emily, for scale versus this cross. So yeah, you can definitely bring the dog inside. It's 10,000, which is like 250, not too much to rent the cart. But the cart doesn't really turn, so it's a little hard to maneuver. Changes color. There's a cute little train that will take you back to the entrance of the Salt Cathedral. 
After the Salt Cathedral, we visited the best part of town for food, Sonahe. Everything we had in this part of town was delicious. We're staying in Candelaria because it is very close to a lot of museums and plazas and it's just a beautiful part of town. And if museums aren't your thing, staying in this part is a foodie paradise. So we got back to the place after that nice day. And what are we getting into here? <laughs> <laughs> what is this silence of the lamps? <laughs> Day three of the Best of Bogota is checking out the Cascada Chorrera, the tallest waterfall in Colombia. It's about an hour and a half drive from Candelaria. We made it over here to the waterfall, but unfortunately the road is not passable any farther and I drove up a sketchy section. So we're gonna have to back down like a super steep hill here. Oh my God, this is gonna be stressful. Oh, so I recommend parking where it says Parqueadero back down there. We've decided we're just gonna leave the van here until we're done with the hike. The guy with this car said he'll move it after that to help us get out of here. So not only do we have Emily's mom, Tanya, with us, we have Rob here. This guy is traveling around in a man. A van and truck, four wheel drive truck. And how heavy is that thing? Ten and a half tons. And three and a half meters tall. Yeah. But he started from Chester in North Wales. And then across Europe. Yeah, Europe, Turkey, Georgia, Azerbaijan, across the Caspian Sea, uh, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan to the Afghan border. All the way up the Afghan border to China. And China was closed at that closed. point. So is, so is Afghanistan. And you went and hit up Greece. Yeah, back to Turkey, Greece. Shipped across the Mediterranean to Egypt. To Alexandria in Egypt. Sudan, there was a coup in Sudan. Uh, Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania, Zambia, Botswana, Namibia, South Africa, and then shipped to Australia, Australia from there. Yeah. And then when he's in Australia, the pandemic hit. So he was there for a year and a half enjoying Australia. Had a great time. After that, he starts driving down kind of on the same road as us, the Pan American Highway. Correct. And we met him in Panama at this yeah. good overnight spot. We met up with him again here in Bogota while we're doing all the touristy stuff. He's coming along. Got to remember, uh, Danny and Emily are absolutely crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and they're very nice people. Man. They are a bit mad. <laughs> <laughs> El Chiflon, which is like Vale Falls. Hey. Hey. Are you feeling the elevation? I'm not feeling the elevation at all. I feel pretty relaxed, but we've been up here for a way long time. I think we're finally acclimated. The waterfall is a little more expensive at 35,000 pesos or, or nine US dollars, but for the trail is very days. clean and it's a wonderful break from the city.
Okay, so we got half turned around now. That guy moved. We came up here on this side piece. So Emily, I just gotta back up and turn around. Wow, we got turned around. I was worried. But that guy moved. Get up, chill babies. Yeah, Emily. The van isn't sliding. Woo! Yay! It's steep. Yeah. All right, we'll watch you. Another morning in Bogota. For day four, we're heading to Plaza Bolivar, exploring some Candelaria churches, having a nice walk around the city, then to Zona G for our lunch, which is the highest rated restaurant in Bogota, Leo. Leo has a tasting menu along with a drink pairing. Danny and I got the veggie one and my mom got the meat included menu. Absolutely the best meal we've ever had. And since we're in Colombia, this tasting menu did not break the bank. Our lunch was made by the best female chef in Bogota. She digs into the roots of Colombia and sources all the fresh ingredients from the places in the country. Our day five started slow, heading to breakfast at Te Una in Candelaria. A couple souvenir stops, then La Puerta Falsa for some famous hot chocolate served with cheese, which I didn't honestly try, but Danny thought that it made the water-based hot chocolate drink a bit more creamy. Look at this tamale here. What's in there? Oh, a whole piece of chicken. Whoa. Drumstick. <laughs> Drumstick. And rice. It's like a little paella. This looks super good. We just got back to the apartment. Where's Graham? Oh. Hey, buddy. This is Tejo, an amazing local Colombian game. The goal is to hit one of the pink paper envelope triangles with a Tejo, which is kind of like a shot put. A major spin is those envelopes are also filled with gunpowder, so once you hit them, they explode. <laughs> To hit an explosive triangle is three points. If you make it into the ring and don't hit any explosive, it's six points. To hit one and not to have the tejo fall off of the mud board is nine points. If no one hits an explosive or lands it on the center ring, whoever is closest to the ring gets one point. Oh, and anytime one explodes, you have to put a new gunpowder envelope on the ring.
for day six, we're heading to a local coffee shop to taste some coffees and find our favorite for some souvenirs. One of my favorite parts of Colombia are the beautiful fruit and vegetable markets. So we're checking out Paloquemal Market, which is open every day, so we wouldn't have to worry about showing up to a closed market. So this is called a buñuelo. This is like a Christmas uh, food here in Colombia. Oh, it feels like a donut. It's a donut, it's good. <laughs> so here we got the trivecta. We got maracuya, feijoa, and borroja. Borrojo. You gonna try it out? Tell us what it's like. I would, like it looks like it should be like tamarind or something. It's kind of not too sweet, which I kind of I like because medical ya is so tart I can barely drink it. <laughs> um, the guy who suggested we try it said it has a lot of nutrients, so we have it. Tastes a little bit like. Um, <laughs> you don't like it? Like the start of it's good, but the aftertaste is kind of earthy. I, I think it's my favorite one out of the three, though. What do you think, Tanya? I think it tastes it tastes watery to me. It doesn't really have a really strong flavor to me. Mm. Yeah. But I can see where you're saying it tastes a little earthy. It tastes like a, a little bit like oranges. Fehoa. This this is like one of the most interesting. Weird, weird yeah. flavors. Uh, you're not too into it? Not really. All right. But it tastes... It's like, a, it's like a sweet tart drink. So Emily's created a mix here of the three juices. Whoa, that is tart. <laughs> <laughs> Man, one last wander around Candelaria, and that's all for my mom's visit with us. We had such an amazing time together, and we're so happy she came to visit us. Let us know in the comments if this helps plan any future Bogota trips. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.